Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to make one of my hearty breakfasts that can also be served as part of your lunch or dinner. The reason I thought this would be a great recipe to share with you is because I'm sure you're like me and every once in a while you just have a craving for one of your old favorites before you were keto. Recently I was craving a grilled cheese sandwich and I was too lazy to make a loaf of keto bread. I also wanted something very quick and easy to make, but still to have that grilled cheese satisfaction. And that's how this recipe came about, my Keto Zucchini Grilled Cheese Frittata Sandwich. The macronutrient ratio for the Zucchini Grilled Cheese Frittata Sandwich is 2.1 to 1, with 10.3 grams of total carbs, 4.2 grams of soluble fiber, 2.1 grams of insoluble fiber, resulting in 4 grams of net carbs per frittata. A lot of the fiber comes from the psyllium husk, which is completely insoluble. Now let's get started. I begin this recipe by first grating the zucchini using the large holes on my box grater. And as I grate the zucchini, I distribute it into a flat bowl, in my case, my casserole dish. After I've grated all of the zucchini and placed it in my casserole dish, I sprinkle salt on top and toss it lightly. The reason for this is I want the salt to draw out as much of the water from the zucchini as possible. Because if your zucchini is too wet, this frittata won't work. While your zucchini is resting, prep and assemble the rest of your ingredients. Time has passed and it's now time to squeeze as much of the excess moisture out of my zucchini. You don't need a cheesecloth or a tea towel or anything, just use your hands. After squeezing out as much of the liquid as you can, put the remaining zucchini into a medium bowl. Now to this bowl I'm going to add the chopped onions, the grated Parmesan cheese, and the whole psyllium husk. Then use a spatula or your hands to toss and stir everything together. Then get the bowl with the eggs, whisk it very well and pour the whisked eggs into the bowl with the zucchini. And using a fork or a spatula, toss very well so that you integrate the eggs into this mixture. The next thing I'm going to do is season with a sprinkle of pepper and garlic powder and then mix or fold until everything is well combined. That's all there is to making the frittata portion which will replace your bread in the grilled cheese sandwich. The next thing you should do is get a skillet or crepe pan. I'm going to use my crepe pan. Place whichever pan you're using onto your stovetop and set the heat to medium low. Then pour in one tablespoon of oil and spread it around so that the oil coats the entire bottom of the pan. When the oil is starting to sizzle, transfer about half of the zucchini mixture into the pan and then using your spatula, immediately spread out the zucchini mixture so that it covers the entire bottom of the pan. And as much as possible, make it a nice even layer. Having done that, fry until the bottom of the zucchini is nice and golden and looks a little bit crispy. This is important so that it will hold together. It should take you about three to four minutes for the first side. Then use a wide spatula and carefully flip your frittata. If you don't have a wide spatula, here's another way you can flip things over very nicely. Put a plate on top of the pan, quickly flip over, and then slide the frittata with the uncooked side down back into the pan. At this point, it's time to distribute half of your grated cheddar cheese over the disc, but only on half of it, so that you're actually making like a half moon pattern. Now continue frying for about two more minutes until the bottom is also golden. Wedging your spatula very carefully underneath the frittata, flip so that half of the frittata will cover the grated cheese. Then transfer this completed zucchini grilled cheese frittata sandwich onto a plate. You'll notice that the internal heat will continue melting the cheese. And all that's left to do is repeat step two and three with the second batch of the zucchini mixture. As you can see, not only is this very quick to put together, but it's also very easy to make. And this is a really satisfying and filling meal. 
After making both of my frittatas, what I like to do is cut my frittata. In this video, I'm cutting it into six, but usually when I'm serving it as a breakfast or lunch, I cut each half moon into two sections, therefore making four complete servings. The entire prep and making of both of the frittatas took me less than 30 minutes, so I usually like to make it just before serving because although this is very nice cold, I really like to serve it nice and hot because at that point the cheddar cheese is nice and melty, just like a really good old-fashioned grilled cheese sandwich. However, if you're making this just for yourself or you have leftovers, store the leftovers in an airtight container and put it into your fridge where it can keep really well for about three to four days. And then you can serve it as leftovers for additional breakfast or as part of a lunch for work or school. I know that many people do like to take the time to make keto bread and then make grilled cheese sandwiches the good old fashioned way. But I wanted to show you this version because it's a little bit different and you can have something tasty when you're not up to baking a whole loaf of bread. I know that they're microwave breads, but I somehow just don't like their taste. So this is my option. Now that you've seen this, I hope that you will find this recipe to be a nice alternative keto grilled cheese sandwich that you can enjoy any time of the day. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video, especially if you survived all the way to the end. I'd like to mention that the best way you can show your support is to please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, forward it to a friend who might also like this recipe, and if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, please check that you're still subscribed. As always, the link for the rich and printable recipe will be posted in the description box below. I almost forgot. Could you please click on the notification bell and indicate all so that you will be notified when I post my next video. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.